Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video is going to be how to show you how to make this a gear down or you can gear up robot. Check out this picture of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the process. I'm going to show you what pieces you would need and take you step by step on how to get this thing built. So I'm going to go slow, make sure you guys can see everything, and then we'll get this guy built. And then I'll show you how to demonstrate you know how it works okay so let's get to it okay everybody let's get started the first thing you're going to need are your two large motors this uh, ladder frame and you're going to need four of your uh, red connectors there we go so here we go we're going to put this and it's going to be a little un unorthodox but just follow me on this one okay all right so this is going to be the weird part. I'm doing this because it uh, makes a better fit for everything. Sorry about Mr. Lawnmower guy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this uh, H-frame like this. And we're going to put these red connectors right in here like so. Guess I better just do one side first. So like that. And then I'm going to put this other side right here. And I'll just put these in. This is kind of the hard part. Just got to have these tiny fingers, which I don't have. There we go. So like that. And one more. Like, Sorry about my big old hand in the way, guys. There we go. I think that's good right there. Okay, so we're gonna want it like that. Let me move this up here. Okay, like so. All right, now here's what we'll do. And it doesn't really matter the order here. But um, I have an 11 beam and I have my black connectors put in like so. And I'm just going to put them in. Just to give this guy a little bit more stability, like that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this uh, gray frame. And I'm only going to put black connectors right there. And what I'm going to do now is put this in between these two large motors. I'll take some... Okay, now we have that. Okay, now we're going to be putting this piece right here. We're going to be placing it right in here. So we have this cross piece here. We'll put that one in like that. And then we're going to put that and this guy is gonna sit right there okay and then we'll flip it around and we'll do it to the same same thing to the other side and we have another one of these pieces here both the same on both sides okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our these J beams ready for us to gear down or gear up so I'm gonna actually be making this to gear up so here's what we'll do we want this uh, J beam to be like right there in order for it to go right into this motor here. So that's why we left this these two blank here. So I have my J beam. I don't know why I have this blue connector in here already, but I'm gonna go here to the very top. I'm gonna put that guy in there. 
and then this guy will actually flip around like that like that and then we will put this right inside here so if you look now this will be able to go right inside that motor and that's going to be key now let me go ahead and do this to the other side the other J beam seems like they're always cutting the grass when I make these videos funny huh okay so oh man I did that wrong why didn't you guys tell me okay so I'm gonna put this here there Wow, I'm doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Putting it on the wrong side. Don't you hate it when you guys put something on the wrong side? It's very frustrating. Anyway, okay, so now this is going to go on the other side right here. Like that. So now that will be able to go right through that motor. Wow, I'm pretty shocked how fast this actually is going. Okay, so here's what we're going to do to get this gear going on. Um, this should be a six and we're going to put this guy right through there. That was our bell. And we want it to just kind of look like that. Same thing on the other side. Like so. Okay, now here's how this is going to look for our gear now. This is what the tire will actually look like. So we're going to need, this is a bigger one now, this is a 10. And what we're going to do is, well you know what, let's actually get the uh, gear on here. Sorry about that, I had a momentary peace loss, so, and maybe memory loss. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get the big gear. So what's gonna happen here is this is actually gonna go through like this, and we gotta get that gear on. So, I'm gonna put this uh, gray gear here. Like so, I'm going to get this uh, gray bushing put on the other side just so things don't come off. Alright, so let me tell you what I have on here now is, I believe this is an 8. Sorry guys, I should know these things. But what I have is I have this small gray gear. This is going to be the one that interlocks here. And then I just have that white tooth. So you're going to have to do some playing around with this, but so right now they're interlocked. I'm going to push this tire just a little bit further in here. But I really want to make sure is that this, this gear interlocks that with that gray gear. So let me turn this here. And that's when it's going to have to take take this gear and slide that in there and then adjust your tire so that everything's just not hanging out there all right so that gray gear if you can see is connected to that the white gear and when everything's perfect that's when you'll put on this gray bushing here in the inside and I'm just doing a lot of adjusting because there we go okay so, gray gear there, tire here, like that. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So here we go. So this another gray gear will go here. Sorry, I wish I was faster. Kind of annoying. Okay. Sorry guys, I think my video cut out, but I'm back. And then I have the, the same nine hole with the large blue and small blue connector. This blue one's gonna go right into there. This one's gonna come up here. Voila. And then I have my, whoops, need another black connector. Gonna need this ball and caster, the two black connectors. And here's the reason why I had to kind of offset it in the very beginning, is so now that this can go right there. If not, it would have been a little off-centered. Okay, right there. All right, all I have to do is get my cables in here and I'll show you how this guy works. Uh, let me show you a little trick I learned with the cables. Man, that lawnmower is loud. What I do is I will actually undo this right here so my cable can go underneath it. If not, kind of things are kind of just going everywhere. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'll undo here so this cable can go underneath it. There we go. Feels good to have your cables all taken care of. They're not flying everywhere. Okay. All right, guys, there we go. Let me back this up. Oh, yeah, I didn't put this tire on. Or did it just fall off? Oh, that's right, I didn't have my gray bushing on there. Oh, hey, nice, I just found one. Love it when you can just find a piece real quick. Okay, so there we go. Let me back this shot up now. So there is our geared down. Oh, I got to put another bushing there. Okay. But here's our, sorry, geared up uh, robot here. Let's go ahead and give this guy a test drive. Okay, so here's my geared up robot here. I got this on for 10 seconds, I think I did. Oh, that's right. I just remembered that everything's backwards because when you gear up like that, it changes the direction of your gears, so. Whoa, that guy took off. Wow, that went fast. That was so fast you probably didn't even see it. Let's try that again. Let me come over here. All right, here we go. Woo, look how fast that guy took off. All right, guys, so there is my geared up robot. Sorry, geared down robot. No, no, I'm getting myself confused now. This is definitely geared up where this guy's gonna go super fast. If we wanted to gear down, then that would give us lots of torque and it would go a lot slower, but it would be able to, it would be able to pull a lot. It would have a lot more you know, pulling power. All right, guys, so there is your geared up robot. And, you know, if you wanted to gear down, you would just take these gears and reverse it, which means the smaller gray gear would be inside the motor and the larger gray gear would be outside here. So you can just flip that around if you wanted to. All right, guys. Hopefully you were able to follow those instructions. Sorry again for the lawnmower guy and if I were losing pieces or my mind, but there's that robot there. 
All right, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Missing Lego Robotics. I am out.